Darren four wins in the spin, but we had to work for that one today, didn't we? Overall, I'm happy, mate. Um, a clean sheet and a win, it's pretty much all you can ask for going to a game, but it was obviously a bit flat at times, and, and you can't really have too much I go at Celtic for that. I mean, St Johnston came here just clearly to to sit up and soak up all our pressure, and it took us a while to break, break them down. Eventually, we got there, and you know, it wasn't great at times, but the most important thing in, in, in a, a situation like that is, is you get a goal, or a, well, you, get, you score a few goals and you win the game. That's what we want to see for Celtic when, when we're playing the likes of St Johnston here. Who, 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 they, they just came here to, to put 11 men behind the ball, so um, it wasn't the most entertaining game for us watching, but the most important thing is we got the job done. That's, that's enough three points for us. Aye, absolutely, uh, a big win. Jackie Marcus, first start up top. We got 60 minutes today, got the goal. Would you make his performance? Um, can't really assess performance too much. Obviously, his, his job is to score goals, and that's what he's done today. He's a big, he's a big poacher. He doesn't look like the kind of guy who's who's going to drop back and show for the ball and make runs. No, he's a box, he's a box striker, a big tall guy, and he was in the right position today, and he got his goal. That's what matters. So um, I can't. Other than that, I can't really assess performance too much because I wasn't really involved in the game. Most of the game was played sort of, you know, 30, 40 yards back, just passing about. St Johnston had it, so many men in the box, so it was, it was really, it's really hard for, for the likes of Jackie Marcus to, to make that impact today when there's just so many d defenders around him, you know? That meant Kyogo went out wide. Um, you, we just don't get the same for Kyogo out wide, did we? Never. It was on the right-hand side today, and I thought it uh, might, might, have, might have a different a different uh, outcome but it's the same as, as when he's been playing on the left uh, it's just it's not the same is it no we're used to him in between the two centre halves making that, that movement and it works for us so much him playing from the middle but when he's on the flanks it becomes a bit predictable he has less he's less options when he's running he only has the option to cut in cut on the inside or run down the flank so it's it's a bit harder for him to to fool the defenders and get men involved in the game. So, if we can, if we can see it, and we've, we've brought it up before that he's he's not making much an impact on the wing. So I think the manager will see that, and he did try something different today, playing playing jacket, playing the two up front. I know he realised we only did play one up front today, but but two strikers, aye. But the manager will probably see that today and say, nah, it probably didn't work. When I seen the lineup today, I thought, yep, play two in through the middle, Jot out in the left. But um, obviously, just done his normal freeze. Did that bad? I just had Kyogo go there. But um, at least he's trying all the stuff. Um, maybe the day wasn't Kyogo's day, but you know what he's like. He'll come back. A um, couple of flash points in the second half. Did you see the, the clash between Kane and Carter Vickers? Ah, yeah, well, I, me and you were on the other side, so we didn't really, we can't really see. I'll need to watch it back. But it looked like Carter Vickers was on the deck, and the guys definitely had a kick out at him. To me, for where I'm sitting, I'll need to definitely see it again. But, but to me, that looked like a red card. Um, I, think the red, I thought he swung a bit of a punch at Carter Vickers. I, I didn't see that, mate, but. Um, I've never been one to to complain about referees, and you know I'm not making excuses because we won the game today and we got a clean sheet. But the referee was shocking today. It was shocking. Um, Juranovic back in at left back. Would you make of that situation at left back? Do you think we're going to chop and change it? Do you think we should have a more natural left back in there and put Juranovic in his natural position? Aye, definitely. We need a more natural left back in there. I mean, Juranovic does his job, but it, this is a that's a temp, temporar, temporary solution. Putting a natural right, right back, right footer in that position we've clearly seen that he has no problem playing there but um, if it was up to me I'd put him right back and put in either Scales or Bollingoli to left back uh, ah. playing Geranovic's uh, left back is I mean we, we can't complain like, it does, it does what's regarded him as a defender there but it's not his natural position and you're not gonna, we're not going to see him play it all season so so what's the what's the main goal here do you know what I mean um, good penalty taker, but that's two to two, um, especially after the woes on Tuesday there. Aye, aye, uh, he put away a good penalty against Betis, uh, and uh, I at least we're, we're good to see we actually have a penalty kick to it. Callum McGregor stepped up on Tuesday and missed. You pick him out of the match for us today, mate? No, I was thinking that five minutes before the end there, I was really struggling to, to pick somebody who who'd really made a, a, a meaningful impact in the game. I don't think MD had a bad game. I know they said over the, the Tano Airs before end that, that Jota got it. Um, you know, I'm really struggling, Paul. Like, I like it was just a it was an all round average performance. I don't think game they played worse than, than anybody else. I'll, I'll just say Juranovic because he scored a penalty. I like Juranovic, so I'm going to get him.